What's up everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you with another video. Today we're about to take a look at a sneaker that is set to release this coming Friday, July 21st. But before we get into the review, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. I need you to sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And Leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker itself. And since you're already down there, take a look in that description box. And since you're down there, do look in the description box. There are some links in there. You can do some shopping, save some money on some products, and all that good stuff. Now today, the sneaker that we're going to look at is highly anticipated for me personally because I really wanted this sneaker when I first learned of the sneaker that was set to launch uh it's not a retro it's not a hype beast type thing it's just a nice everyday sneaker that I wanted to take a look at I actually wanted for the tote and I got it comes in a regular Nike box orange box white leather ring and there's that box label gonna read it for you it says nike air max one sc and the color is neutral gray clear jade and white this is a size 14 this is my personal pair and these will retail at 150 us dollars i have not taken a look at these yet i got them from the store and i just Came home to check them out, so we're all gonna see them at the same time as I show you that lot stamp right there in blue. You got your paper, it's double sided, double tissue. Oh, each shoe is individually wrapped. Oh, this is one, this is two. Look inside the box, we do have a YCM sticker right there. And that's a correction. There's a QC sticker in here too, at the very bottom of the box. Gold sticker, red lettering. And that's everything that comes in the box. So without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Here we go guys, we have the Nike Air Max 1. Clear Jade. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the sneaker. This is my first time looking at them. I unwrapped them. They were individually wrapped. And my God, they're just like I expected. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, the sneaker is made on an all white base. You got the white, the white mesh right here. You got white mesh toe box, white mesh on the tongue, underneath here on your uh quarter panel and going around your anchor collar you do have gray suede on here decent grain uh a very little change of direction on it you do have a molded eyelet in the clear jade colorway you do have a clear jade nike swoosh and the leather is oh my goodness it's so soft on the uh swoosh and going around your mud guard right here going all around the sneaker you do have a polyurethane midsole white colorway going around your uh white going around your air housing clear bubble white inside you have a little gray at the bottom and black right here which leads to the outsole traditional air max one outsole guys you have the hit of that clear jade at the toe you have black you have that grayish grime material and have black going around the heel. And we're gonna take a look at the back of the sneaker. You do have Nike Air embroidered and clear, I'm sorry, clear jade on top of that gray suede. Like I said earlier, you got your white mesh going around your ankle collar. And you do have that clear jade leather going all the way around the heel, which leads to the medial side of the sneaker you do have a clear jade nike swoosh and some nice nice brand leather on here your molded eyelet right there in the clear jade colorway you do have that gray suede right here on your quarter panel it's decent but 
very good execution. It looks kind of nappy, but it is soft nonetheless. You do have white mesh on here, like I said earlier, with the white polyutherane midsole, clear bubble, white inside, and give you guys a closer look at that clear jade mud guard. That, oh my goodness, the leather is soft and you can look closer. Let me adjust my lighting. It's kind of tumble. Here you go, guys. The leather on here is kind of tumble. Not sure if the camera's picking that up, but my god, what an awesome pair of sneakers! Here at the toe box, the white mesh, like I said. Comes with only one set of laces. You got your white flat laces in here. Uh, you have a woven patch right here, white, with the clear J Nike Air Max branding on here. And we're gonna look at your white mesh sock liner. You do have stuff it inside the sneaker. Cause almost as long as the sneaker. You got that white tissue stuffed inside of there. And you have a tongue tag. Focus. Okay, this is your sizing tag in here. Let's go ahead and read that. It says US size 14 production date. December the 14th of 2022 to February 20th of 2023. So like a couple months of production with these. Uh let's see. Yup, your insert does come out. You have a gray or tech gray in your insert with that clear jade Nike branding on here and you do have your size 14 sticker in here and of course the bottom of your insert looks just like the outsole of your Air Max 1 so uh, these come out July 21st just coming Friday uh, haven't seen any advertising yet from Nike I looked on uh what it was sneaker news and I seen it's only a handful of stores releasing these. Not sure what the uh, stock numbers are, but take that information, do what you like with it. But sneaker news is only reporting that a handful of stores will be releasing these. And your boy got his pair, so you guys can see what to expect. I got them for retail. So this is the sneaker, the Nike Air Max 1, clear jade, but it been calling them the Aqua Tone. So this is the sneaker, and I'm going to end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker, because you never know Well, it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.